So what we have here is the, 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 the user interface of uh, EOMind. So this is our, our streaming analytics machine learning platform. And unlike other solutions out there on the market, every number you see here on the screen is the number of individual customers impacted by a problem. Other solutions out there, they focus on a, a piece of the network or a service, and maybe at some point later, it will, you will find out how many customers are impacted. And when you look at the people who use this information, the bulk of their time and brain power is used in determining, do I need to resolve this issue? So in essence, this is designed to be used with nobody watching it. It's a, an entirely automatic solution. And the numbers here that you see are simply the GUI that you would get when an email is sent, when a case is triggered. So all the numbers we have our number of customers and you can see like 259, 228 and this happens in real time as events occur. So we have an interesting case here that I got sent and triggered is uh, an access issue. So what happens is the, the algorithms are analyzing the clouds of events in real time across multiple technologies with again no, no need to tune it, no need to set it up. And you can see that as the load changes over time, the algorithm also tracks that to make sure there are no false alerts. You only get an alert when something goes drastically wrong. And then what the system does is it tells you how many customers are impacted. We also have the concept of VIPs and enterprise customers for customer experience. We then say how long it was and what the spike was. Then uniquely in the market, it goes on to say this is the, the largest cause value, this is the root cause of why it happened. Here we can see a radio interface failure. We then see which part of the network it came from. Then we can see the trend over time. And all the user has to do is scroll down. And here we can see the, the clouds of the importance of the, the various contributing factors. In this case, it's uh, cells, location in the network. And then we can see the actual cause of value. You see 93% of the errors were because of a radio interface failure. And then again, very uniquely, what it does is it looks across all of its different data sources to say, is this a unique event or is this uh, more of a, a generic trend? So here we can see the same problem occurring across different radio access technologies, which says this is a generic problem at this location. So there, there, nothing else in the market does this. So we've gone from seeing an alarm, thinking that, okay, this might be a problem. Okay, I need to spend some time go through different solutions to find out, is it affecting customers? We have answered that question in real time with no human interaction. Then we can go on to show the actual customers impacted by that issue, the actual individual customers and that can be exported to a, a customer relationship management platform. It can be stored. It can also be used to start a troubleshooting process uh, for that to happen. So, you know, this is a unique solution in the market. It runs in real time. And uh, some of our customers actually run their networks from their mobile phones now with this application.